In this video, we are going to solve a problem which was asked in TCS PRA examination conducted on 1st of July 2021. And to solve this question, we are going to use the awk method. In case if you want to find some different method of solving same type of question, you can always go to our Unix playlist and search for videos there. So the question is named as orders and customers and it is framed as it is having four columns order ID, item name, quantity and customer and we have to write the Unix command to find the order ID of the order placed by customer whose name starts with A, N or H. So first of all we'll create a new file let's say order.txt and we'll paste the input in that file. We are going to copy the first sample input and we'll paste this in the order.txt. Now the next step is to write the Unix command and to do that we'll be needing one separate file. So let's say we are going to create a order.ss file and now onwards to write any command, any Unix command, we are going to use this file only. Since we are using awk method, First of all, we'll have to write the syntax of awk that is awk followed by two single quotes. Now inside this single quotes, we'll write two things. First is begin with all the capital letter and other thing is end. Now if you see the question, every column is separated by comma. So the field separator here is comma. So inside that begin bracket, we'll have to pass comma as a field separator. So the syntax will be fs equals to comma in the double quotes. Now the next thing is to write the logic to find the order ID of the customer whose name starts with A or N or H. So what we can do is we can take a if conditional statement and we can compare the dollar four variable that is customer name first letter with a or n or h and if the mass is found we'll have to print the dollar one that is order id here in the question you can see that the row number one is just represent the name of columns so while checking or comparing the customer name with A or N or H, we should avoid the row number 1. So to do that, there is one more term that is NR that keeps the count of number of record. So it should be greater than 1 so that it can start with the row number 2. Hence the if condition will look something like this. If bracket NR is greater than 1 and dollar 4 will be compared with a or n or h so the next thing come in picture is how we can compare the first letter of dollar 4 variable that is customer name so to compare that dollar 4 with a or n or h we are going to use the basic of regular expression so dollar 4 belongs to here this symbol means belongs to or equals to and the thing we need to compare will be written in the forward slashes. Now the thing is we have to check the customer names first alphabet. So to do that or to check that we'll have to use a caret symbol. In the regular expression caret symbol represents the starting of the word and uh, we'll pass a in H in the square bracket. See, if we pass something in the square bracket, it check for the every word and if the match is found, condition will get satisfied and the execution will happen. Here we are done with the logic. We'll simply write the name of the file or the input file after the end bracket and we'll simply run and check whether it is giving the correct output or not. Since we are using Linux, we will have to use the terminal to run this file. So we will open terminal and uh, write the file name dot slash order dot sh and we will simply press enter. 
now here you can see that we are getting the order id for the customer whose name starts with a or n or h so we can say that we are getting the exact output that was required hope you have learned something from this video please give us a like do share and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching python every day like share and subscribe don't forget to watch other videos on our channel goodbye see you in the next video